So far in 2023, gold price has taken a hit, but it hasn't been marked down as much as you would think. What's up you guys, it's Ocean here. I've seen some YouTube videos explaining how the price of gold isn't representative of its actual value. My goal with this video is to put the drama aside and explain a reasonable approach to gold stacking because it is facing a lot of downward pressure right now. I'll likely title this video something to the effect of gold price being marked down, but you'll see the important takeaway is how it always works. Going beyond the manipulation story and the hype and the predictions of five to $6,000 gold, there's a historical context in this video that perfectly aligns with the current gold market. So we're going to take a look at that and the numbers and the downward pressure on the spot gold market and the numbers on Gold Mining Inc. More on that at the end. The impact of US dollar strength on gold price is a great topic, but I find that it's typically explained clear as mud. By the way, these coins I'm flashing are pre-33 US gold coins. Definitely not the choice for everyone, but we're all stacking what we like, and I enjoy these coins. A big part of buying gold is simply looking at what's reasonable. And if that's vague or annoying as nails on a chalkboard, I'll explain the DXY because market uncertainty isn't the only thing that drives people to gold. And let me know what kind of gold coins are your favorite in the comments. The DXY is the US dollar index. It measures the dollar's strength relative to other currencies. And its number has an impact on gold demand but the DXY doesn't directly cause gold price to change. It's like a brisk day of winter. Some people are going to wear shorts anyway. They don't get cold. The DXY is still a little high and cash returns a nice profit right now. If you've asked your bank about CDs lately, you know what I'm talking about. I bonds are also paying 4.3%. CDs and I bonds compete with gold. So, for the traditional investor right now, rather than buying gold, which is real money, they're choosing to make four to 5% on their fiat dollars. As the DXY moves lower, and it's on that path right now, as the dollar index continues to drop, investors are gonna find a place where they're caught on the horns of dilemma. Then there reaches a point where gold stacking goes through that typical cycle and it becomes popular, mainstream media picks it up, gold price rises. I just favor hard assets like precious metals. That's how I like to store my money. But a lot of investors and institutions just aren't going to pass up the 4 to 5% guaranteed return we can all get in cash right now. This means lower demand for gold and this is the state we're in. Looking forward to where gold is going and leveraging the upside potential is something that's done with Gold Mining Inc. I'll cover that in a minute. But despite the current strong and it's a very strong cash alternative, gold is still near all time highs. I just love these coins. Gold is also dollar denominated, so foreign holders of gold are currently incentivized to sell right now and this is currently lowering the demand for gold. Once again, this is happening despite gold staying strong near all time high prices. Lots and lots of downward pressure on price, but gold's been extremely resilient year to date in 2023. Gold price is bending, but it's not breaking. That is something that is important to pay attention to right now. Looking forward, I see a reasonable likelihood of gold price dropping and staying below 1900 in the short term. There's just so much downward pressure that I think that's reasonable. 
but the US dollar measured by the DXY has also been steadily dropping so there will also be a point where US buyers back up the truck and start loading up on gold of course heavily weighing on demand the the good news is I see this as a buying opportunity and I know gold premiums have been increasing but if you find a good deal something to keep in mind is gold is meant to be a long-term hold I don't like the idea of buying gold if you're not willing to hold it for at least 10 years the upward price direction we're seeing on gold in the medium to long term based on correlating factors opens the door up to leverage potential far beyond what stacking can do and this is another situation where it all makes sense based on the numbers this brings me to New York Stock Exchange ticker GLDG that's Gold Mining Inc thank you to today's video sponsor this is the most undervalued company I've ever seen period I'll show you the numbers so you can understand why I say this the company has a 155 million dollar market cap they own 20 million shares of a gold royalty company this is based on their balance sheet those 20 million shares are worth 36 million dollars they also have 80 percent equity in a gold company in Alaska that equity is worth 112 million dollars subtracting the value of the gold royalty company and the equity in the Alaska gold company from the market cap leaves seven million dollars so there's seven million dollars unaccounted for but here's the thing gold mining Inc has other assets the company has a total of 13 gold projects with 22 million ounces of gold resources the 22 million ounces of gold resources have been discovered it's in the ground but it hasn't been mined gold resources gold in the ground at mining projects are normally valued at 30 to 40 sometimes even over 50 dollars per ounce let's say we take the lowest reasonable valuation of 30 dollars per ounce multiply that by 22 million ounces that exist that's 660 million dollars instead of the market valuing gold mining inks other gold projects at 660 million dollars they're valuing them at only seven million dollars under fair and standard valuation the company should be valued at 653 million dollars more than it is right now that's such a wide spread that is a 400 percent upside it's like buying a five ounce silver bar for the price of one ounce that's crazy and that's not it the company has no debt they're cashed up their management team and their CEO are exceptional they're the best of the best the icing on the cake the thing that pulls everything I mentioned together into one beautiful package is the opinion of this company being undervalued oh, is expert third party approved analysts agree on a five dollar price target the company currently trades for about 90 cents that is the 400 percent upside it blows my mind that this company hasn't moved closer at least moved closer to that five dollar price target yet and this is the story of the most undervalued company in the world I think it would be smart to do some research on GLDG I've covered this company before I'm personally a shareholder and I'm very bullish about where this stock price is going once again that's ticker GLDG for gold mining Inc stack white as the ocean